so proud of myself. So, um, all of my books are gone because all of them are here. Because I, want, I wanted to do this because every time I watch the tag TMI vs TID, I always pick characters from Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows instead of them characters. So I wanted to do like TMI vs TID vs TDA. And it was so much fun, except for like the last two questions I can't really do because it's like last book in the series and a favourite epilogue. So I made up two new questions to add instead of them two, so it would be a fair fight, obviously. So here we go. I have so many books that I have to pick up and I don't want to edit. So here we go. Ratchet YouTuber number six, I think, number six video. Okay, favourite main character. Let's pick up all my books. Favourite main character is in Tessa, Clary, or Emma. Guess who my favourite main character is? Emma Carstairs. She's um, so badass, whereas Clary and Tessa, like, they're like, oh, I need to go and do this, and I'm like, nope, sit down. It's like, Clary's like, no, sit down, unless you're going with Jace, and then Tessa's like, no, sit down, wearing a wedding dress. It's not a spoiler. <laughs> but Emma, I'm like, yeah, you go, girl. You go, you can win. So that's one point to TDA, guys this one. Now, next question is favourite Herondale. Kit, Jace, or Will. I'm not even going to put these books back on. Will Herondale. William Herondale. William Herondale. William Herondale. He's beautiful and magnificent and I love him. That was an obvious one. Okay, favourite love triangle, this one's gonna be fun. So we have the non-existent Clary, Simon and Jace. Throw that there. Or we have the actual existent Will, Tessa and Jem. And I also picked Mark, Christina and Kieran. So we have most heartbreaking or most annoying this one. That's two points. TDI. Oh, it's so cute. Obviously I ship Wessa, but then when Jessica get together and oh, oh, everything works out happy and it makes me happy. Mm. Love it. Question one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Is better villain Sebastian the Magister or Malcolm? Who do you think I picked, guys? Who do you think? Malcolm is stupid. The Magister is also stupid. So we have Sebastian. Sebastian Morgenstern. So known as the love of my life secretly very secretly i love him i think he's hilarious if you have these uk editions of these books there is a short story in the back of one of them i can't remember which one it is and it shows sebastian going to get real sebastian and he's talking about how sebastian has like black hair and he literally just says, I'll have to dye my hair, which isn't hard, but it's annoying or something on the lines of that. And I just laughed so much. And then I realized that he's going to kill him. And I'm like, oh, Seb, it was the way you were born, not the way you live. I love him. Okay, moving on. Next one is the better army, dark army, clockwork army or sea demon. Dark Army, obviously. The Dark Army. Because... 
the Kokogami, they were just, you knew that they weren't going to win. But these, I was scared for a good minute. I was more scared, yeah. Okay. Next one is Better First Book. I literally wrote down Lady Fucking Midnight. <laughs> because, um, this was okay. This was pretty good. This was incredible. This, I read it in three days and I read the physical book. This is like 700, 668 pages. That's 669 pages. Sorry, I'm looking at the epilogue because I want to punch it. Yeah. I have this piece of paper. Okay. Favourite female sidekick? Izzy. Uh, where's Izzy? Izzy. Cecily. Oh, Christina. Cecily Harrendale. Because I think she was a badass. And she's awesome. And I wish she was in the series more. And her and Gabriel are just adorable. And oh. Now, favourite setting, London, New York, or LA, LA Institute, the LA Institute is beautiful, you walk into, onto a beach, oh it's so pretty, and I can, this seems like more of a house, like in this, I can picture everything differently, like the weapons room in here I can picture as very like small and kind of enclosed. This one's like huge. And this one's kind of like non-existent because we're never really in there. So yeah. This one I can picture everything, like I just want to sit in the kitchen and have Julian make me pancakes. Ugh. Yeah. So that is the two. So the last two questions I can't really do. So the last two questions are like last book, which this isn't finished yet. And epilogue, also this isn't finished yet. So I can't do them. But I'm going to answer them for these two and then do my other questions. So better last... <laughs> better last book. Uh... Uh... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Which one? No, no idea. No idea. Um. <laughs> See. Uh, I love both of these books, but I don't like either of the endings. Like. I don't like the main endings. Like, I don't like how both the villains died which is not a spoiler like obviously the villain's gonna die but I don't like how it ended I feel like they were very like they were very shocking but after they finished it was very anticlimactic but this one was more shocking than this one because of the events after the main antagonist was killed. But I read the entirety of this book. This one I skipped like Maya and Emma's parts because I just wanted to know what happened in the other bit. But this one I read the entire thing. So they both kind of get half points. So there you go, half points. Okay, now, the next two are Worst Cry. So guys, um, there's some spoilery things in this section, so if you haven't read any of these, Clockwork Princess, City of Happy Fire, Lord of Shadows, if you haven't read these, 
click away now. Now. Because this is just spoiler central. All spoilers. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. So where's the cry? Will's death. Livy slash Robert's death. Simon losing his memories. Okay. This? No. <laughs> I can't remember how much I cried during this. I can remember how much I cried during this. I was sat on the toilet reading, well, listening to the last two chapters of this because I could not physically read the last two chapters. I would. This would have water damage. This one. I always say Will, but then every time I think about Robert dying, every time I think about Livy dying, just a tear. So I'm gonna have to reread this. But I did circle Will, so Will, yes. But I just, let me just read like a little part of Julian. This is Julian crying. This is literally like the last page is of the book. He's saying, Livy, my baby, please, sweetheart, open your eyes. It's Jules, I'm here for you. I'm always here for you. Please, please. Just Julian saying that. Like, I'm tearing. It's so sad. It's so depressing. And like, wow. Oh, ow. My soul hurts. Okay. Last question is. Best ship. God, this is difficult. Okay. Wessa. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nope. Clays. I just put Clobastian. Clays. Or. Gemma. And I don't care if people say that Gemma is an endgame. It is. It is. It is. They will be together. They've had sex. Done. Done. That's all done. All done. Okay. But this, obviously. Rest are because they're so perfect together. So perfect together. The thing though, I hated Will in the first book. I hated him. I despised him. Then second book rolls around, and a Clockwork Prince, I am dead, dead, just crying. I feel so bad for him. Favourite overall couple is my last question that I just made up in my brain because I want to do this. Malik. <laughs> my babies, my children. If you haven't watched the Shadow on this TV show, just watch clips of Malik. I can just watch clips of Matthew Daddario. He is beautiful and gorgeous and amazing and incredible and I love him. He's so beautiful. Like you can't not you just mm. But yeah. So that was the TMI versus T A D versus T D A. Tag. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the cut, I just started crying about Lord of Shadows, so I'm gonna cut it out. <laughs> but, um, you've already said goodbye to the camera. Princess! I'm gonna say goodbye. Look how beautiful this cover is. Do you know how much this book cost me? One pound. Like, that in dollars is like something cents, or like a dollar something. This. And it has, right? You know what it has in the back of it? It has the family tree. This is a collector's edition. And I found it for one pound. And I started reading it on the coach back from my dad. And I got to page 126. That was one sitting. Because I can read this. I can read this book so quickly. I just skipped a Bridget singing. <laughs> well, okay. So goodbye. Time to leave. Bye. 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 Bye.